All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel, ScooterATVSales.com, bringing you some service tips. Tyson today is here, and he was poking me today, and he says, hey, you know, we got to share with our audience how to do some basic service on their dirt bike. Now, this is for those of you that are not familiar in how to service. You just bought your Apollo dirt bike or Chinese dirt bike, because it's very similar with all models, but we're going to use the RFZ right here is the Apollo Z40. Now, it's basically all the same, generally, with all the lineup of Apollo dirt bikes, you guys. But we have right here on the lift, it's the Apollo Z40, 140cc dirt bike. We're going to use this as the sample. And it's basically the same with the 125s and the 110s as well. So Tyson, again, uh, he's here. He's, he, Tyson's our uh, lead service tech here at Scooter City Reno. So Scooter City Reno is our local Nevada shop, you guys, where we do a lot of service and sales, everything over here, as well as turnkey, ready to go, tested and tuned. And Ty Tyson's, uh, he's uh, definitely very detail-oriented, make sure that everything here has its T's crossed and your I's dotted. So he wanted to share with you guys some basic service tips when you buy one of these brand new and what to expect after just a few hours of riding it and what you need to do. And then after just uh, you know, a few months of ownership or just throughout your ownership and what service tips uh, uh, are suggested for you. These are all suggestions and tips from Tyson. And uh, we'll uh, let it off to Tyson. Go ahead. All righty. Well, first thing you're going to want to do is after about the first 10 hours of uh, riding this thing around and then after that about every 20 to 30 hours, you're going to want to change your oil. Now right up under here is where the uh, drain plug is. It's a 17 millimeter uh, bolt. Go ahead and uh, pop this out, drain all the oil out, and um, put the plug back in. And then on this side over here, this is where your dipstick is. So we're going to put the oil back in, and this is the uh, oil that we use. It's a uh, Lucas uh, 1040 mo uh, motorcycle oil. And it takes uh, just shy of a quart uh, back in the case here to, to fill it back up again. And when you check your oil on these, you pull your dipstick out, you want to wipe it off, and you're going to dip it down until it hits the block, and then pull it back out again to get, a, to get an accurate reading. Uh, you're going to want the oil to be, you know, just under this nub here, as close to the top of the X as, as you can get without going, going past that. Okay. Okay, excellent. So... So you're suggesting recommend recommendations between five and ten hours, depending on how much they've ridden it, depending mm -hmm. on the conditions, the landscape, the temperatures, and all that. So between five and ten hours, you're going to do it. And then, do you recommend them uh, uh, riding it really easy the first when it's yeah, brand new? Yeah, for the yeah for the first uh, for the first ten hours or so, you're going to want to you know just kind of put around and uh, motor around and let the uh, let the, uh, let everything actually break in and get well seated before you really start hammering on it. Okay, all right. And then uh, what would be next? Would you say the change out that spark plug and yep. fuel filter? Yep, so we got the spark plug right over here. Just pull this boot off. And then you replace, uh, then uh, this is a uh, 5 8 uh, spark plug socket or a 16 millimeter. Uh, we use a, a NGK uh, CR7 HSA. Correct, yeah. Uh, spark plug. Okay. For that, to replace that. Yeah, just replace that whenever you do the oil changes. And then we also, it's a good idea when you do your oil change to also replace your fuel filter up here. Okay, as you guys can see, the fuel filter uh, Tyson's pointing out right up there, so you should uh, replace that as well. Now, you could use any good quality fuel filter, correct? Any brand. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, we use NGK here. Again, that's why Tyson mentioned NGK. Now, any other cross brand you can uh of spark plug you guys can use as well all right go ahead mm -hmm. uh, next thing you're going to want to check also is check your uh, chain here make sure that it's uh properly tensioned uh in order to adjust that you loosen up this axle right here so you got the uh, nut on the other side and then this is a 17 millimeter on this side okay uh and then you can loosen up the jam nut and if you want to uh, tighten the chain up, you tighten this, you you, uh, you you back this bolt out so it pushes the axle back. Okay. If it's too tight, you got to loosen this up and push the wheel back in. Gotcha. Okay. And once you get the chain set where you want it to be, then you just tighten the axle back up again. Okay. So that's that's uh, quite simple. The way the basic fundamentals of adjusting your chain, you guys, and that should be checked. Uh, obviously, when they break it in as well, that should be one item that they should check as well. Yeah. How about the spokes in the front and rear? 
spokes in the front and rear. Yeah, you just um, you want a spoke wrench for that. That you can uh, uh, that you can get on here. You can use a crescent wrench, but a spoke wrench makes life an awful lot easier. You want to make sure that they're just all tight and they're not loose and flopping around. Okay. Any other areas that should be checked? Uh, how about the front yeah. uh, front axle or? That would be the same. Yeah. Uh, basically, everything for the ba uh, for the uh, uh, back wheel would be the same on the front. Once again, here's your. Um, uh, this would be your axle bolt. You want to make sure this is nice and tight. Okay. Also, we want to make sure that the. Uh, uh, your, uh, that your spokes aren't uh, loose and, and wobbly. Okay. Okay. Then, then they're after the break-in service. Uh, then they should just periodically check, uh, just for like long-term maintenance. They yeah, should just pro every twenty to thirty hours, probably. If you want to give it a good once-over, check all of your bolts, make sure everything is, and make sure everything's tight. Um, Changing spark plug, changing, maybe fuel yeah. filter again as well. That's just every what you said. Yeah, every twenty to thirty hours. Okay, it depends how much you ride it, you guys. How, hard, how hard you ride, ride it as well. These are all tips and just recommendations. Again, everybody rides it differently. Mm -hmm. So if you're a harder rider, you're gonna ride it really hard after you break it in. Then of course you want to change things more frequently. So mm -hmm. any other last minute uh, tips you want to throw out? Though? Um, well, let's see on the carburetor here. There's a uh, you got this this. Uh, nice knob on here that's your idle adjustment so that way you can uh, as you're, uh, uh, while you're sitting there you can adjust this to make sure that the uh, uh, it's okay. running fast enough so that the motor doesn't die but it, uh, yeah. right here is your idle adjustment right here yep right okay. there okay and then uh, where was that choke here on uh, the choke is right this is a little plunger right up on top mm -hmm. of the carburetor on this on this model you just lift that up for choke if you actually need it. If it's a warm day, you probably won't even need to okay. use the choke at all. So it was right, right over here is your choke then. Yep. Up or down, it moves. So yeah, vertically. you pull it up to turn the choke on. Okay. And then push it back down to uh, turn the choke off. Great, great. So, you guys, there's there's some great tips. Uh, again, Tyson is sharing these tips with you. These are recommendations. Again, uh, the brands that we use, you don't necessarily have to use these brands of oil and spark plug. You could use any other high quality brand as well. Uh, these, are, these are areas that you should address on ownership. A lot of you guys that, are, uh, that own these are, are riders most of your life, then you, know, you have your own idea. But this is for our, our basic servicing and maintenance of your dirt bike. For those of you who are brand new at this, because Apollo generally Again, it's quality-wise, it's on the coattails of a Honda. It's very good quality, very durable. Generally, our buyers are beginners or slash intermediate users that are just learning how to maintain and service their dirt bikes. And this is what this is all about right now. It's just throwing out some transparency. And again, Tyson, uh, it's, that's what he's all about. And that's what we're all about over here. So I want to thank Tyson uh, for all these tips and recommendations on maintaining your dirt bike. Again, this is generally, the fundamentals are all the same on all the uh, lineup, of all the models of the... Uh, all basically the same. All basically yeah. the same, right? Whether it's a Tau Tau, a Coolster, an SSR, or the Apollo brand. It's a one, these are, this is a 140 and the 125s would be all basically the same. This, you guys see... This is your fuel fuel valve right here. It's on the on position and you have the off position. Again, just uh, make sure you check all the nuts and bolts. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Enjoy your new ride. And hope you guys find this well. If you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And you'll find me on Instagram at Scooter ATV Sales. And if you're looking for some universal Chinese parts, it's ScooterATVParts.com. Thanks again, Tyson. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Take care.